Hello everybody and welcome back. I am Mercus and today we're playing more 7 Days to Die. So, let's get started. Okay, so. Since the last horde and this episode, which might be the last episode, not quite sure. I have done a couple of things. First, let's go into day 101. And at day 100, I recorded a world tour. So since that time, I have done a couple of things. In that world tour, I basically went, or day 99, I spent basically repairing and fixing up the horde base. Day in between, I worked a little bit on the main base, also the shotgun turrets, tunnels, and I also have worked a little bit on the pad here. Now, since, so because this horde base is now actually complete, that means we can spend the next like horde day basically on just other stuff. I'm gonna have to do a couple of things still. I will need to actually go and add the record. So down here, one problem we actually found out in the last horde was that they were able to actually uh, like destroy the turret, destroy the bars, the plate, and this block and actually get onto that, like access onto the shotgun turrets, tunnels. I upgraded these floor for four blocks to steel. And I was actually want to add a hatch here as well. So yeah. Uh, another thing I also realized is actually that uh, they actually was able to do quite a lot of damage down here. I didn't think they actually did too much. Like, they destroyed some blocks and stuff, which was fun. And damage and stuff. What they actually managed to do is they actually destroyed every single wire relay in this height. Which is all the wire relays for the actual shotgun turrets. So, yeah. I cannot allow zombies to get into here. Anyways though, it is a brand new week now. Uh, it's already actually went for a couple days though, so it's a bit of a shorter week, although we don't have to spend a day like preparing our base. But what is the plan? So originally, the plan was to go back to this like, city here and continue looting it. But I have decided to do something else instead. Doing that is basically sort of a bit of like, mostly for fun. We don't actually need the loot to be honest. The bullets, or like the ammo, as well as brass and paper is of course nice to get, but apart from that, we don't truly need the loot. What we do need at the moment is paper though, so not quite sure exactly, exactly how many bullets we used in that horde. I did actually go and make a bunch of bullets for it though, so we have tons of like, box of shotgun shells, there's are 500 in each stack. So this is 5,000, 6, 7, it's about 8,000 bullet shotgun shells right here. Plus there's another like, I did load every single turret with 150, which is about almost 8,000 bullets or shells, but yeah. However, we are completely out of paper though. Uh, I've seen this coming for a long time. That is partially the reason we, of course, went and looted this town to get paper. Didn't truly really get, like, huge amounts from it. But, yeah. So, of course, I've seen the fact that that's, like, coming and it finally has hit us. We are out of paper. So, this is what I'm going to do right now. This episode... Not trying to show you how it's going to lay it out. But, to begin with, I'm going to loot the paper mill. So, I've actually marked a couple of them on the map. Uh, I found two. There's one down here, which is what, what I fall about hitting up. Apparently, there's actually not one in this town here as well, which I weren't fully aware of. That's the only two I found so far. That actually might be one. I haven't checked this place. Also, I haven't checked. I did check the wasteland though. So. I know how like the POI actually looks like. It looks like um, this one. Wait. Ah, <laughs> uh, I lost it again. Oh, this one. This one. This is the one. So it's basically like a gray square with sort of like gravel either side. So yeah, this is another paper mill. Uh, let's just actually mark this quickly. 
the question mark just in case. That one's not right. No. I uh, didn't actually find it in the wasteland. Didn't find any others in here either. But yeah, so I actually found two, two of them, which is nice. Uh, I'm actually going to go to this one and loot that one. And we'll see. The paper mill mills are without doubt the best source of paper. I think I can get between 10 to 15,000 paper from it. So we'll see about that bit. In terms of best tool to use though, I will definitely be using like the best I can find. I'm unsure which one that is. Either it's the steel axe. Or it's a chainsaw. I'm kind of thinking it's one of those two. I guess I should also mod it up a little bit. Uh, what do we have for mods? Wood splitter. Like that's useless. I know, I'll take a look at that bit. So I'll get some stuff prepared and we'll head over there. And we're just going to go and loot it as well as talk about my plans for Alpha 20. Then, after that, and what we're going to start on this episode is the Wasteland Looting Project. Basically, I'm going to try to conquer the Wasteland this time. I have actually never done that in Sunday's so what I can like, basically do is this little like, area here. Do a quick marker. I want to basically get rid of all the trees. To start chopping all of those. Take off all the landmines. Uh, take those like little, tiny little rubble piles and loot those. I also loot the other loot in that place. There's some cursed and stuff, not here, but over there. And then just basically start like digging up the cursed stone because cursed stone is actually a somewhat decent source of sand. Now, it's probably a good source of sand given I can just, you know, head on south and grab there, but I don't know. It's at least something. Do I seriously not have like an actual. Modded up steel axe now. Actually, seems a bit weird. I guess I know. Don't okay. Well, okay. So here we are. I think the first order of business is try to figure out what's the like proper tool to use, either the chainsaw or the axe. Hello. Anybody come? So let's actually try this again. So basically, here we get 100 pieces. Another 100. Exactly the same. Okay, let's try this one. Another hundred. Oh, that's just okay. Another hundred. Okay, so they're actually the same. Okay, nice. Right then. So uh, I'm just going to go and. Loot a thing on camera, which can go and actually take up all the paper off camera or talents it. We'll see what not to do. So, what's this as with Alpha 20? Basically, we have gotten at the time of recording somewhat of a what's I'm looking at a clear look this far, somewhat of like a release date. At the moment they are hoping for Halloween. Oh, no. Which is in about uh, about five weeks, give or take. Although that is like sort of this month stated as the earliest, so it'll probably be like a little bit later, but uh, you know, Halloween is sort of what is the earliest we can expect. 
And that isn't just six weeks or like five weeks. So like maybe between five to eight weeks, we'll have alpha 18 or 20. And of course, with such a like thing, that means I need to prepare a little bit. At the moment, I am not really like prepared to actually give up this world just yet. I still think there's quite a lot of like progress we can do, quite a lot of things we should do. And my goal, of course, has so far been to get to the release date 150. Doing that would basically like oh, should basically mean like we can progress quite a lot and like essentially get to the like a very late game, which so far I haven't honestly been in. Now in Alpha 16, which as of now is my most successful like uh, play for of Seven of Die so far. With the exception, of course, of this playthrough, or well, like most successful previous one, I did ultimately end the series a little bit, sort of, well, early. Here we go. And of course, the reason for that was just because I kind of felt there weren't really that much more stuff to do. Low six all the chocolate. Is that really good? I feel that might be really good. I don't know if we have that actually. Cool. This time, however, I kind of feel that like probably shouldn't end it just because of that, right? Oh, we actually got a generator. That's pretty cool. Okay. So therefore, of course, I do want to continue this playthrough, and I also can want to try to catch up a little bit. So during the summer occasion, I started by taking a little bit of a break, going into the summer occasion. Uh, then I started playing again, then my internet died, so I had to stop again. And then I started playing a little bit again, and I kind of got a little bit burnt out. Stopped again. Then I started recording a little bit again, and then I went on a very extended... Uh, almost a full month long vacation. Which of course meant that the series got put on a hold. When I got back from it, I did actually once again start recording a little bit more. But I didn't actually like. I haven't posted the video since, I believe. So basically, I would like just record a little bit, but wouldn't act like release episodes, basically. Okay. Oh, are you taking down some paper? I hope you haven't taken like hit in the paper. That would kind of go. As of now as well, I have actually recorded a couple episodes without actually releasing them. Just because I want to try to get a little bit of a backlog going before actually starting. Just in case, like, I get burnt out again or something. But yeah. Okay. Anyways, let's actually go and uh, just, well, take on all the paper. Hmm, do they seriously even nerf paper mills? So I almost, I got less than 3,000 paper this time. I... Hmm. So I do I can remember one time, like in at least Alpha 17, I did get 10,000. And that was with, crap, was with crappy tools as well. I have actually done it once before. Maybe I try to like just uh, check that video and just see like we got significantly more data. So I'm a little bit confused, but okay, let's just uh, get all the equipment here. That's probably broken leg. Oh wait, can't I even just can I jump from any height without like spraying legs? Is that the case again? 
in terms of the base design itself of the Alpha 20 Horde base, I'm going to go back to having just a single base. That's one thing to note. And I'm kind of planning to basically just like merge this little base here into the center of that pillar base. So my plan right now is to actually have this 3x3 free free tunnel still leading down to the actual like below surface. The 5x5 like rim here will be consisting of these 50 pillars. That will of course give the Zeds a direct route down to the base, which I'm a little bit unsure about still. We're gonna have to do a little bit of testing. Of course, I can't just like fill this in, but with a hatch though. Then we'll have like a free block gap or something with another like wall of this. And then basically we're gonna have probably this design, either this one or iron bars. I'm a little bit unsure about that. We'll have to see. So just basically leading down into this trench. And of course we will need some like ways to get up, up again though. And then of course, when like those two ones are taken, we're just gonna continue with the pillars essentially. The base is gonna be quite a lot larger than this one. I'm gonna have four shotgun turrets, or towers per side, as opposed to just the three I can already have. And I'm gonna actually just make this a little bit larger and also maybe, yeah, we're gonna have to figure out some stuff. Might actually like increase the distance between the towers or towers and some other things, but yeah. Uh, I will probably try to design some parts of the base in creative, we'll have to see, but yeah. Anyways though, for the project we're starting today is kind of, uh, Yes, multiple reasons. Firstly, I'm gonna conquer the wasteland, which I have so far in this game basically never done. Secondly, I want to see if Cursed Stone is truly like a decent source of sand. I think it should be. We've done some testing on it and it does appear to be, although do remember it's, it's only four layers deep or blocks deep, so it's not that good. And also realize that the top layers is actually like 50% dirt. So yeah, we'll have to deal about that. Um, and the third reason is we need rotting flesh. <laughs> so rotting flesh is of course used for farm bloods and you need five per, which this is not too bad, but remember you want probably hundreds of them. Preferably of thousands. So, yeah. And of course, so far we just have like about 300, 320, 330 or something running flesh in stockpile. I have 153 farm plots, which is worth something. And I have another like two sets of 81 already placed out here. So I do have significant amounts of them. There's like a gap there. Hmm, that's weird. But despite that though, I still of course want to get a bit more blue. Although seeing as it's not actually that much, so maybe I just actually not gonna worry about this. Basically my plan of course was to go around and uh, hunt for zombie dogs and also potentially speaking even zombie bears. Now, zombie bears of course you do get these Montestrone extract I have so far yet to actually use this stuff, and I have tons of steroids already, so... Yeah, I don't really see them really being useful, to be honest, like, whatsoever. Early game moving items and getting around stuff? Sure. Especially because, like, the carrying capacity is nice. And the run speed is decent. But apart from that, it's not that. You can of course combine this with all right, um, with Mega Crush, and you can get like fifty or sixty percent like increased speed, which is pretty significant. That's that. Also, does this just remove penalty from? No, it doesn't. Is there something that removes penalty from like heavy armor? Because I have like a minus a quite significant actually like mobility penalty, in fact. Minus 8%. Wait, what? Oh, does that increase in mobility? Probably. 
I'm confused. Oh well. So yeah. So for this, I will be bringing with me a M60 with arm piercing rounds, especially when take uh, like dog or uh, zombie bears. I'm just wondering, like, if I can actually like go up the zombie bear and actually like psh, kill it fast enough. I think, but yeah. I'm also going to bring me quite a lot of medical items, so definitely tons of honey. Probably some splints. I do expect getting some criticals and stuff, so let's bring a little bit of stuff. Let's bring some first aid kits, painkillers, and stuff like that. Probably set up like a sort of a temporary base over there. Uh, I just have a mini bike. Probably should actually use the 4x4, but I think it's fine. Is there anything we need? We definitely need a bit more of this stuff. Pair that. I think that's about decent. Ah, that's fine. Okay. So I'll meet you then. Okay, so I just like trying this path for now. There's a drop here. Hmm. I wasn't aware of that. Dude, gloves. It's not like something we were like missing for absolute ages. Hmm, okay. So, uh, I actually in the reason enabled the like show airdrops function. We actually have a drop which dropped there during the uh, roll turn, and there's just not a drop here as well, which I found. We actually that on. So. That's two drops I can found with just that. Oh no. I, don't I can't really remember like exactly when this stuff would have dropped is the thing though. Hmm. Is there vultures in the wasteland? Get off me. Right, we can never find a rocket launcher yet, have we? Hmm. Is that something to the list? Yeah, the fog is a little bit of a problem. Honestly, that might be our biggest problem. The problem is a bit. So, uh, this is basically like how the waiting like looks. And like walking through, like you will find sort of random like things like this, for example. Right, and like random piles, random bodies, around the place you'll find like just this brick things. Those are somewhat decent for a stone, not that we need a stone, but decent. And you find just like random sort of destroyed buildings, or like parts of buildings. So there is actually kind of a decent amount of loot in the wasteland, just like the wasteland itself, not just like, you know, the like over cities and stuff you'll find there, but in fact the actual like just sort of roaming around and just random buildings and stuff and like places. So why I actually just want to go around doing is first to chop the trees. They provide two things, they provide coal and wood. I think all of them do coal? Yeah. So that's actually something I found, or like kind of hypothesized in earlier versions, is that wastelands might actually be a somewhat decent amount of, like, decent supply of coal, actually. If it truly is, I'm not really quite sure. That's a remain to be, like, answered. In Alpha 16, I did, of course, start chopping down a burnt forest for the specific reason of getting coal. And, of course, like, the amount of uh, wood but what it also of course gives you.
but we never know if that actually works in this one that remains to be asked or answered or seen. Yeah. Okay, let's get a chest here for my items. I'll probably. Probably just like walk over there, I suppose, if I need something. Okay. Now, so if I can't see any zombie dogs, I'm kind of hoping to find very few zombie bears. But zombie dogs are welcome. I actually did try in the last horde as well. I did actually figure out that I can indeed actually like essentially like melee zombie dogs without too much of an asshole. So yeah. Let's see actually at the moment though. Oh, you know. So yeah. Should be fun. Bears are, of course, not a like thing altogether. That's why I brought the M60 with me. Should probably actually put you there, actually. <laughs> Closer to my club. There is the trader there as well. well. That's actually true. I do have a potential save some which is the trader. So if there's a zombie dog, like bear, I can just like tracked it to me somehow and I like run over to the trader maybe fine I'm also actually wondering now so like can I stand on top of here no I don't think I can I kind of would like to try to find one though just to see if I can like actually melee it Probably, I guess I can stop here, yeah. Like, if I can see one right now, that'd be nice. Just like, try to kill it with the M60. Does not appear to be the case. Now, in terms of actually like how I'm gonna record this and stuff, what I'm thinking about doing is Probably end this episode soon. Start working a little bit of this stuff, and next episode I'm just gonna basically do like a sort of a status update about this thing. I'm going to be spending the entire week on this project. And of course we're gonna have to like you know, just sort of do like PR static updates basically. So that, of course, will be essentially mean I will be condensing this entire week down to two episodes. And next week as well might actually be somewhat similar. I will also be recording all the stuff as like all the progress as well as I'm doing. And I will be spinning it up in a probably sort of a, either just part of the grinding mini series or a additional mini series might just be an additional mini series we say and yeah we'll see how far we get to this project i do intend to like go back to looting this place as well maybe i try to do like some alternating weeks we'll see but yeah you know of course just boils down to how much i'll be able to play i have like six weeks on me which isn't that much i don't think i can really do any more than like max two hours per day so yeah that's about like 60 well, yeah, so like six weeks, that's six in-game weeks as well. So uh, I don't think we really have the time to get to day 150, which is another like 100 hours of in-game playtime. Yeah. Anyways, though, uh, I'm going to basically start. Well, I'm going to do a little bit of work now. Then I'll uh, like start next episode when I have something to show off, I suppose. And yeah, anyways, I'm gonna get started working this project. So, hope you liked the video. If you did, please leave a like. And so, thanks for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.